Meghan Markle's Disney debut gets a drubbing from critics. Meghan Markle's performance as narrator of a documentary about elephants has been branded, quote, over eager to please and packed with, quote, smalts and cheesiness by critics. The Duchess of Sussex, who officially steps down as a senior member of the royal family today with Prince Harry, provided the voiceover to the Disney production after a direct request from filmmakers. It is understood she recorded it in London last autumn after seeing footage of the documentary, which will start streaming on Disney Plus on April 3rd. It sees African elephant Shani and her spirited son Jomo as they are led by the great matriarch Gaia across the Kahari Desert. They face dwindling resources and vicious predators as they try to follow their ancestors' footsteps to a green paradise. Reviews from the British and U.S. press have been relatively consistent, with critics awarding it an average of three stars and praising its stunning cinematography as it follows a family of elephants traveling 1,000 miles from Botswana's Okavango Delta to the Zambezi and Victoria Falls on the Zimbabwe-Zambia border. When it comes to Megan, her, quote, excitable tones are a perfect fit for the natural history with the edge shaved off remit, according to Empire's Ian Freer, who awarded the film three stars. Quote, for her part, Merkel's delivery of the commentary is wholesome and overeager to please, he added, citing some of her vocal observations such as, quote, it's time for a pool party when the elephants take a mud bath. He added that the Duchess, quote, just about stays the right side of annoying. The Telegraph's Robbie Collin, who awarded it three stars, said the documentary is, quote, not quite Attenborough, admitting Meghan's honeyed alto is a fine match for the tone of the piece, which vacillates between regal and cutesy poo with occasional gusts of girl power uplift. The Times Ed Potton was decidedly more scathing, evident by his two star rating. He said Meghan is, quote, swapping pomp and circumstance for smalt and cheesiness, adding, quote, The departing Duchess of Sussex narrates Disney's tale of a herd of elephants crossing the Kahari Desert from the Okavango Delta to the Zambezi River, and boy does she lay it on thick, end quote. Ed observed how her silken tones employed on the legal drama suits, which were often muzzled during her time as a full-time royal, are now given free reign. He did concede that she has an actor's way with a phrase and a likable sense of mischief, but concluded the performance often feels over-egged. Quote, Even the underwhelming moment in which the elephants rip some bark off a tree is presented like the announcement of the winner for Best Picture, Ed deduced. Quote, To anyone raised on Attenborough's urbane authority, it all feels a bit shallow. End quote. The Guardian's Peter Bradshaw who awarded Elephants three stars, was more complimentary, claiming Megan takes to Disney narration like an anthropomorphic duck to water. At times, he says she injects torrents of schmaltz, not helped by the outrageously unverifiable things she is given to say. He concluded the documentary is a technically impressive work with some lovely images and a bit of sugary taste. Variety's Owen Gleiberman said Megan does an inviting version of the wholesome but amused Disney narrator sing-song, while the Daily Express's George Simpson, who gave it four stars, said the Duchess comes across very warmly, with most of her lines sounding like she's beaming fondly at the elephants we're watching. He said the Duchess's added tension at the right moments, especially when the herd came across more serious moments like being surrounded by lions and hyenas, but at times it tips over into cheesy and sentimental in a classic American Disney kind of way. Megan's fee for the project is going entirely to the Elephants Without Borders charity, an organization dedicated to conserving wildlife and helps protect the animals from poaching. Last year, the Duchess joked that she and Harry attended the premiere of The Lion King in London to pitch for work footage from the event revealed. Prince Harry was also film tooting his wife's voiceover skills to Disney boss Bob Iger at the occasion in July. In the shocking video, Prince Harry pointed to his wife and said, You know, she does voiceovers. A surprise, Mr. Iger replies, I did not know that. Before Harry continues, You seem surprised. She's really interested. The Disney boss says, We'd love to try. That's a great idea. While Meghan, who was next to Prince Harry, continues speaking to Beyonce. 
Megan gave up a successful career as an actress, with her most prominent role being in U.S. legal drama Suits when becoming engaged to Prince Harry in 2017. But the arrangement with Disney hints at Meghan's future career plans, which could see the couple using their celebrity status to benefit chosen causes. Last month, it was revealed that Meghan could make $100 million this year if she accepts all the offers that come her way, media executive Simon Hook has claimed. Speaking to The Morning Toast, Simon 36 from Canada, owner of public relations firm Command Entertainment Group, claims his agency was flooded with huge offers of work for the former actress in the wake of Mexit. Simon, who is a close friend of Kim Kardashian, is not believed to be representing Meghan, but has been inundated regardless. Meanwhile, bosses of The Simpsons have revealed that they want the Duchess to appear in their popular comedy. The program's showrunner and executive producer Al Jean discussed the prospect of the cameo in an interview with the Radio Times and said Megan should give him a call about the idea. He revealed, quote, We've talked about Harry and Megan. I hear she wants to do voiceover work. If they're reading this, give us a call. End quote. Ladbrokes revealed Megan and the documentary are at 20 to 1 to win the feature length documentary category at next year's Oscars.